in the bottom left playing Tenry. Faded Sun versus Carl L in the top right playing Marcia. So I do understand why people pick Marcia. It's because um, because of the perception that uh, the late game involves a lot of modern golems, which is probably true to a large extent. Yeah, makes sense. We haven't seen that yet, so. And so this is something I'm noticing here is they're definitely playing like I guess the like older meta style of this map where. Uh. Actually, this is a very interesting setup from both players. Yeah, I was about to say, because uh, they both got one the wagon a turn early, but they delayed their seed by a turn. Or, yeah. well, in Faded's case, it's not actually delayed. And uh, he kills the village with Tenry. I guess he's choosing Groove over Economy. Um, but I think he could have hit the sword with Tenry. Gone for the steel instead. True. Going for the steel next turn, yeah. But it's like that thief will usually have um, its pick of targets, unless your opponent really wants to prevent it, in which case, like, you've already won. Because by going all out to prevent it, they lose more than just allowing it to happen. This is looking fine so far. I mean, it's not. It's very different to what we saw in the last few sets where they were just like leaving the villages till later and then going for the captures once they were secure against thieves. This game, but they both delayed their thief, so. Right, that that's probably pretty big. Um, because even delaying by like one turn is, is a lot. In terms of getting, forcing your thief through. Like when, when you rush the thief early on, it's a race. And if you don't make it in time, um, your thief can't get the steel. How's Carlo going to react here? I guess he's just going to run his thief away. Ooh, Mercy is being very aggressive here, though. That's justifiable. Um, he's Mercia. Doesn't need to care about losing health that much. Carl yeah. buying a lot of nuts as well. Oh uh, yeah, she can Sorry, definitely no. just take a hit, right? Although, ooh, the Harpy's not going for the hit on her. Um, I think that's actually interesting what he did there, uh, blocking the road. Because that denies, like, one square. Um, you can imagine a world in which uh, Kalel puts his wagon on that square and then, like, suddenly he has two sides open on the stronghold. Uh, he's just gonna... Gonna kind of juke and jive, he's gonna like walk back a bit. <laughs> uh, moves the thief up to the north so it can go for the capture on the 6th health village. So, nice. Ooh, Fadison has a golem out now. And that's so big. Like literally as well as like in the meta and in, the like, in a strategic sense where you know, there's <laughs> a lot of pressure off on that side, there's not much really up there to deal with it. Golems are one of the few units that one hit KO thieves. But in this case, I think the thief will be able to get his steel. Yeah, although the golem's just gonna walk up and kill whatever the hell it wants. True. Ooh, there's a there's a nice juicy target there for Tenry to go and hit. Ooh, sacrifice a little health on that dog. Right. So you could get the kill, guarantee it. Actually, you couldn't get it without it, so that was necessary. Oh, so Fade is not even going to send a golem in, just uh, keeping the golem back, uh, warding off any aggression against the stronghold. It is respectable. Yeah, because I actually one thing that Carlo could do is throw like the knights and like throw the harpy and like the mage at the golem, and then heal them up with mercy after. His own golem coming too, so there's that. Yeah, and I guess like this is the point where mercy shines when you have two golems out. You can do a lot with two golems. 
They're together, yeah. Ooh. Although Faded does have like the ability right now to just uh, yoink one of them. So, to be considered. Yeah, but you need stuff to go with the yoink, right? You need... Oh, what do you even use? Like, archers? Night crit? Night Arby? crit plus golem would probably be more than enough. That's how I would probably do it. Uh, okay, is there a Lito here? Uh, I don't know what the, like, the flagstone makes that kind of more complicated. Oh, no, because there, there are a bunch of the... like... Oh, yoink that golem. I was thinking you would yoink the golem above Mercia and then probably kill her, but... Is the dog crit? No, it doesn't. There is no way the dog crit can do it. Oh, <laughs> the dog takes so much damage back. Damn. I feel like that was not the best square to move it to, because... Um, if he had lined up Golem plus Night Crit, that would have been really clean and would have killed it. Now we're gonna see Cal probably just engage here, rescue his Golem, and then uh, maybe pop off a Groove. Because Spader just used his, so it's perfect, perfect chance to use Groove as well. Yeah, and oh then... yeah, he can heal his own Golem up a lot. Yep. Getting a Hex here. Uh, the Hex didn't actually hit too much, but these Night Crits uh, are gonna do a good job of taking out the front line. Oh, and he's even gonna- he's basically gonna heal that Golem back to full. Yeah. I'm not sure if he was banking on killing that 1 HP Pike. Uh, maybe that messed up his plans a little bit. Like, maybe got bad RNG. Uh, <laughs> but this is gonna be an absolute brawl this turn. It is, but I do think um, Faded is at a disadvantage in this brawl because he only has one golem and Kala already has two. Yeah, I guess like, oh, he's left his dragon in range of the mage. Oof. That, that can't feel good. No, and like, you know, a witch and whatever decides to hit that thief will... uh. Do well, alright, yeah, just a spear crit will do the trick. And then, Hex is after, I mean, that's like a slight misplay, you'd have a little bit more health on the mage if you Hex first, but... Yeah, that's true. Nothing too major. The mage would maybe have, like, uh... Maybe it's a 2 or 3 health percent. Instead of, yeah. So, not the biggest of deals, but... That's one of those like small optimizations that you realize after and you're just like, damn it. <laughs> True. Alright, what are we gonna see? Oh, right, he tries to go for the sword suicide and just says, nope, didn't happen. Oof. Oof, that's unfortunate. Oh, GG faded the GG. Didn't quite work out. Yeah, I think it was just like that golem yoink, like not killing golem. And that's actually the other really big strong point about golems, right? Is they are uh, they're just really hard to kill, even if you like put them in a good position for it. You need the correct units to be able to deal with them. True, true. All right, the. Chat, chat very actively discussing uh, what was the correct use of Tenry group there. I mean, there's like a, a lot of different ways you can do you can use the Tenry groove, so. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, there could have been, who knows? I mean, I'm sure. I love the opinion. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, there's like a whole bunch of different ways you can use the groove, so go like either way really um yeah yeah 